Hi, this is Victor Antonio and welcome to another sales training series. In this series, we're going to talk about value, how to sell value and why it's important in today's market. Now, before we get started, I think it's good to kind of step back and just understand why selling has changed. What is the shift in selling that has changed and what can we begin to think about and then do in order to sell more effectively in this market? Let's go through some of the basics, make sure we're on the same page. First of all, the internet. We know that with the invention of the internet, pretty much how people buy, consumer behavior, consumer purchasing behavior has changed. You know, think of the example of when you go to buy a car. You know, if your car broke down, you know, back in the day before the internet, you'd probably go to the dealer lot, maybe uh, depending on what model you wanted, and then they look around and they make a buying decision after two, three hours, right? Today, what we do is different. If something happens to our car and we're ready to buy a new car, first decision that we make is, is do we buy new or do we buy used? Once we make that decision, we start doing some research on the internet to kind of look at consumer reports or maybe the blue book value of these cars. Next, we'll do more research, ask friends what they think about their cars, if they have models that you're interested in. In other words, we'll have all this data, all this information already in our heads. And by the time we get to the late, uh, dealer lot, the actual car lot, what we're going to do is have information on what we should pay, how much we should pay, and if we're buying a new car, we know what the invoice value is already. So we know what to pay. We've already studied up on the product. We know the product when we walk on that car lot. In other words, what's happening today is, as compared to in the past, in the past we didn't have a lot of information, so we had to go get the information from the experts, in this case, the car dealer. But today, with the internet, we can actually shop online, get informed, be informed buyers before we even step onto the car lot. So what is now happening is that you, the buyer, or in this case, if you're selling, your buyer is already 60, maybe 70% into the buying process. In other words, they've already done all the research. They've already looked at your competitors. They've already looked at alternatives. They already have all this information. So now you're dealing with an informed buyer. And that is a major shift in selling that has happened. Let's go on to the next one, the economy. Again, during recessions, even as you come out of recessions, nonetheless, money gets tight. Budgets get squeezed. Money has to be justified. So as we're trying to sell to a buyer, an informed buyer, because they've gone online and they know what they want, now we have to deal with trying to sell the value. And what do clients care about today? They care about three things. The first one is they want to make a safe decision. Now listen to that. They want to make a safe decision. In other words, sometimes often we don't buy the best product. We buy the safest product. So if a client wants to buy from you, they want to make sure it's a safe decision. They also want to make sure that they're getting the biggest value for their buck. You know, the biggest bang for the buck. So they want to make sure that this is great value. So we as salespeople have to make sure we sell the value and show them, and we're going to do this during the video series, show them that they are getting great value. Third, we have to justify the purchase, right? If you're selling a large item to a customer, guess what? They're going to have to turn around and justify that purchase to their managers, or if it's a B2C environment, they have to justify maybe that purchase to their spouse. Get the idea? So they have to be able to do three things to buy in this economy. It's got to be a safe decision. They got to get great value for their dollar and it's got to be what? Justifiable so they can defend their position why they made that buying decision. And this is where we as salespeople today have to help them. See, it's no longer about the third part, which is persuasion, right? In other words, we don't want to pressure people into buying. We want to persuade people, but simply persuading people through talking is not going to cut it. We have to quantify the value. Listen to what I just said. There's qualitative and then there's quantitative. Qualitative is we can talk about the features and benefits, but quantitative is showing the customer the real value of what they're getting. That's what we as salespeople have to do, and that's what this video series is about. It's about quantifying the value you, you offer with your product or your service, but putting it in tangible numbers, quantifiable numbers, so the customer says, ah, I get it, and you know what? Based on the numbers you've shown me, Victor, guess what? I can see that it's a safe decision. I can also see that I'm getting the great value for my money, and I'm all, I can also justify the purchase. If we can do that, if we can quantify value, we will sell more effectively. Value-centric selling is about quantifying value, and I'm going to walk you through a process that you're going to be able to use, adjust to your product or service, and use to justify, if not quantify, value for your customers. So I'm hoping you're ready to get started. We're going to cover a lot of stuff. It's a lengthy series, but it's going to be worth your time. Let's move on to the next video.